All right, so for this week, I will be investing another 100, 150, 100. Aloha Sunday everyone and welcome to Cash Me in Paradise. My name is Jocelyn. I'm a cash envelope stuffer and budgeter here in Hawaii. For those of you that are new to my channel, aloha and welcome. And for all of my returning subscribers, thank you so much for your support. What's good YouTube fam? Aloha and welcome. I'm so happy to have each and every one of you here today. On my channel, you will find all things budgeting, from cash envelope stuffings, saving challenges, sinking fund updates, paying down my debt, as well as saving up for my house down payment. If you are new to my channel, I really hope by the end of today's video, you will consider subscribing and joining my YouTube Ohana. We really do have a lot of fun on this channel. In today's video, I will be going over all of my weekly saving challenges for the week. If you're having a great week so far, give this video a huge thumbs up and let's begin. All right, friends, let's go ahead and get started with my weekly saving challenges. I really hope that your Sunday is off to a great start and you're crushing all of your goals. The first saving challenge that I have here is none other than the 100 envelope saving challenge. And if you are not familiar with this challenge, how it works is we have a total of 100 envelopes here. They are numbered from two all the way up to 200. By the end of the challenge, I will have saved up a total of $10,100. And I am using this saving challenge to go towards my house down payment. I do have a very hefty goal of $100,000 for my house down payment. And this is the second round that I am doing this challenge. I really find this challenge very challenging to say the least. And there's no one way that you can do the challenge. I always encourage everyone to just go at your pace. If you aren't able to fill up a lot of envelopes, you can also do like maybe envelopes 1 through 50 first. Once you tackle that, then do 51 all the way up to 100. And with the help of Chance, the randomizer, let's see which numbers he has selected for us today. All right, Chancy boy, I see you couldn't decide whether to go high or low, so you stuck with both sides of the spectrum. First number was 192, so we have 100, 150, 170, 190, 191, and 192. Or in Japanese, it's Hyaku, Kyuju Ni. And the first shout out of the video goes to a fellow budgeter here on YouTube. Shout out to Mrs. Karen Budget. On her channel, you will find all things budgeting, from cash envelope stuffing, saving challenges, sinking fun updates. If you are not subscribed to her channel, I really hope that you will also consider subscribing to her channel. And the second number was number 38. And also, if you haven't noticed, I am using prop money for this saving challenge. And every week, I will be investing that amount into the stock market. So we have 20, 30, 35, 36, 37, and $38. Or in Japanese, it's San Ju Hachi. And the next shout out goes to this Bariqua Budgets. She gets number 38. On her channel, you will also find all things budgeting from cash envelope stuffings saving challenges, seeking fun updates, and she is so supportive of this community. If you are not already subscribed to her channel, I also encourage you to subscribe to her as well. All right, so for this week, I will be investing another 100, 150, 170, 190, 210, 220, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, and 230. 
And let me go ahead and just color in the two numbers. So we had 192. And then we had number 38. And I'm so excited to see so many new budgeters participating in the savings challenge. My encouragement is to stay with it. Don't give up. We all are in it together. I'm just here cheering each and every one of you on. If you are participating in this challenge, how's your progress going? Go ahead and comment down below. I'd like to hear from you. But you guys, it is another week, which means you all have another opportunity. If you would like to get a shout out in next week's video, go ahead and comment down below an envelope that has not already been colored in yet. If chance the randomizer selects that number next week, you will get a shout out in next week's video. Moving right along, we have none other than House Opoly. And this is a great savings challenge to save up for my house down payment. I remember growing up as a kid, we used to always play Monopoly with my family. And I swear my brother used to always beat me. He would always end up with like Park Place and always having so many properties. I would always owe money to him. So last week we left off over here. We do have a few high numbers this week, I see. So I'm a little nervous. But let's see what the dice has in store for us today. Will it be a high or a low number? All right, so we had number one. Okay, $75, kind of high, but not too bad. So let me go ahead and get the cash real quick and I will be right back. All right, friends, I am back with the cash. So we have a total of 50, 70, and $75. So I have my saving challenge binder here. What are you all up to this weekend? Any plans? Go ahead and comment down below. I think I want to go looking for a new bed, so I'll probably go ahead and check that out. All right, so I'm just organize the money real quick. All right, so we have a representation of placeholders. So we have 500, 1,000, 11, 1,200. 1250, 1300, 1320, 40, 50, and 1355. So we are definitely making tremendous progress here. I get so excited doing my saving challenge videos. It just means that I am getting one step closer to one day making my dream of owning a house a reality. If you are also saving up for your house down payment, how's it going? I'm so excited for each and every one of you. Go ahead and comment down below your progress and I would love to cheer you on. Next up, I did receive some happy mail. So I did order this really cute rose gold binder on Amazon. So I did already put in my mini saving challenges here. So I'm so excited to be starting these in the next couple of weeks. So you have the dashboard and this is created by Davina C and it says cash me in paradise. I thought that was super cute, but I wanted to put inside here. And then the next few saving challenges, these are from Hawaii mom's budget. And she made these really cute mini saving challenges and I'm so excited to start. So this is the Hello Kitty one. And then we also have travel here. So I already showed these a few weeks back, but I just wanted to show them again. And I do want to start, you know, saving up for gas, even though I do fill up at the halfway point. I just want to have a little buffer just in case, you know, if the gas prices continue to go up, I just want to be fully prepared for that. Then, then we have the luxury challenge. So that one is super cute. I love the little diamonds. And then I always wanted to prepare myself for a month ahead. I see so many of you saving up for a month ahead for like your bills and your expenses. So I thought this would be a fun way to save up for a month ahead. And then these were the ones that I won off of Jessie C's envelopes, her uh, giveaway prize. She gave me were these saving challenges. So we have our home. So I'm gonna be doing a home update. I know I said I will be doing that last couple of weeks i've just been so slammed with so many things at work so i just want to be um, transparent with you all but i definitely do want to do a house update to kind of go over the progress how much i've saved up so far 
Then I want to also start the 26 week saving challenge. We are pretty much at the halfway point of the year. So I want to finish off the year strong by doing this challenge as well. Then we also have the 10,000 saving challenge. This is another fun saving challenge. Looking at the amount, I think the biggest one that I saw was like 310. And you guys, self-care is so important for your overall health, also your mental health. So make sure you are taking some time for yourself, whether it be meditating, reading books, going for a walk, doing like self-care, like getting a massage. So important, they say health is wealth. So you definitely want to make sure that you're also taking care of yourself. All right, and the last one was for Lily Koi and Pumpkin, my two kitty cats. So I definitely do want to save up money for them. Just because the vet bills, a lot of times they are unexpected and they're so expensive. So I definitely want to be prepared for that. Moving along, we have the $1 a day investing challenge. And this was created by our dear friend, our investy bestie, Shalice over at Mommy Trader. And what I love so much about this challenge is that it does not require a whole lot of money. We do invest in fractional shares and over time you do want to build up your current positions. So the extra challenge down here, it says find $20 minimum in your budget and to build up one of your current positions. So for the month of May, the two picks that we chose were Amazon and the Fidelity Consumer Discretionary ETF. So today we will be coloring in the last two dots here to signify that this challenge is over for me. And what I do with this challenge is I am setting aside $15 a paycheck for each of my three beautiful nieces. And at the end of each month, I do invest the money in their separate M1 account. So that way I can go ahead and teach them the importance of saving and investing, as well as to save up for their retirement. And for the month of June, the two picks were Vanguard Industrials ETF and Waste Management. So I'm so excited for the month of June to be investing a little bit more for each of my nieces. And I do also love the quote at the top. It says, if you have the courage to begin, you have the courage to succeed. And that was by Harry Hoover. And I really love that quote. I'm so excited to see so many new investors in this community. We all are here to cheer you on. There's no right or wrong time to start investing, but I always encourage everyone to start now. And I also do love to buy and hold for the long term. And as always, I am not a financial advisor, so please do your own research and due diligence and seek a financial advisor for any financial advice or questions. What you see on my channel is what works best for me. With investing, there are risks, so please do your own research before starting. Happy investing! Moving right along, we have another community favorite, and this is the Mystery Scratch-Off Savings Challenge. That was started by our dear friend Alicia over at Hands and Bands. She is so funny, so amazing, and so giving. If you are not subscribed to her channel, please go ahead and subscribe to her. She is so amazing, so funny. You will not be disappointed. All right, you guys. So this week we are going to be choosing another two dots with the help of my friend Chance the Randomizer. Let's see what he has in store for us today. chance you chose number five and number seven so we have one two three four five and the number seven down here hopefully you were nice to us this week we shall see all right you guys the moment of truth Whew, okay thanks chance we had number 35 so we're starting off fairly well not too bad so we had number 35, 
And the number seven was down here. Hopefully we can go two for two. Okay, I think Chance was nice this week. Booyah. <laughs> oh, finally Chance, you're giving us a break. All right, so we had number 35 and number 30 for a total of $65. So let me go ahead and get the cash real quick and I will be right back. So I have the cash here. So I have 20, 40, 50, 60, and 65. And I did pull some of this from my cash envelopes. And this is the third time that I am participating in this fun saving challenge. So fun, you don't know what you're gonna get every week, which is the, um, the excitement. So, so far we have saved up a total of 500, 1,000. 1500, 1520, 40, 50, 60, 65, 70, 75, and 1580, which is so awesome. We're so close to 2000. And I am still trying to figure out what I want to do with this challenge. So go ahead and leave a comment down below with your suggestions. And before we end the video, I did also want to give two shout outs. This is part of the BCL movement that was created by Budgeting with April. And this week, the two shout outs are Shy over at Mom Talks and Budget and Free to Fly Budgeting. They are both great channels. They are so supportive of this community. If you are not subscribed to their channels, I really also encourage you to subscribe as well. All right, friends, that's going to do it for another fun savings challenge video. Thank you all so much for watching. And if you've made it this far into the video, go ahead and comment down below hashtag BCL. And you guys, we are so close to reaching that 2000 Ohana member mark on my channel. My one year anniversary on YouTube is coming up. I would really love to make that goal of 2000 Ohana members. If you are not subscribed to my channel, I really would love to have you. It is so much fun and it's free to join. And I will catch you all in my next video. Aloha. Take care.